Ty, we'll speak with uh, an expert on, on fluoride um, at yeah. the conference here as well. Just talk about water in general and, and how important uh, is nourishing with good water and mm -hmm. then how, how hard is that to find? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we already talked about the chemicals that are in the water, the fluoride, mm -hmm. the arsenic, the lead in the water. Uh, thank God, you know, we live in a place where we have well water, so mm -hmm. we're not getting the fluoride and the arsenic and the lead and chlorine and, and the other contaminants that are in the water. Uh, there was a doctor in Batman, uh, Dr. Batman Delk, I think is his name, from uh, Saudi Arabia, Iran, somewhere. It was Iran. Yeah, it was Iran. And uh, he was the one that, that uh, wrote the, the book, uh, Your Body's Many Cries for Water, mm -hmm. I think is what mm -hmm. the title of it was. And while he was, he went to prison in the, mm -hmm. in the early 80s in Iran. And while he was in prison, I think it was in excess of 300 patients that he treated uh, for, uh, for different ailments and diseases with water. And he said, the problem is you're not sick, it's that you're thirsty. And he's, his, his thesis was that everyone was chronically dehydrated. And as a result of chronic dehydration, your body's 70 plus percent water. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the water in your body, you can't function properly. You hydrate and you can take care of the problems. And, and he was not using good water either, by the way. Mm -hmm. He was using contaminated water that, that, what they, that they had in the prison. And he was curing folks of their ailments using contaminated water. Now, not to say you go drink contaminated water, that's yeah. all he had, mm -hmm. but it hydrated their bodies. So good hydration is essential with good health. Now, when we're talking about the kind of water you should drink, um, if you can stay away from bottled water, I would. Um, good nat natural fresh spring water. I mean, who has a natural fresh yeah. spring? So you need some kind of a filter, typically. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the Berkey's, the Berkey Light, the Sports Berkey's, the Travel Berkey's that you can, you know, all the Berkey brands are excellent water filters. And so what you can do is you can bring it with you in any water fountain. You can fill it up and it'll filter out the, the uh, additives to the water. And so that's what my family typically brings with us when we're on a trip is we'll bring the little that have the, own, the little filter in it. Um, I used to recommend spring water and bottled water, but I just can't anymore because the more I research, the more I see that these, these uh, phytoestrogens, are not the, the, not the phytoestrogens, that's plant estrogen, the xenoestrogens, the fake estrogens mm -hmm. that are in the chemicals that are in the, in the plastics mm -hmm. are leaching into the waters. And what they're doing is they're, they're creating an estrogen effect in your body, which is then causing estrogen dominant cancers. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about males have testosterone and females right. have estrogen. We all have estrogen and testosterone. It's the ratio that we have. And so when your ratio of testosterone to estrogen gets out of whack, and if for a male, when your testosterone begins to decrease or your estrogen increases, the ratio is not in, in, in balance. Mm -hmm. That's when you can be diagnosed with these estrogen type cancers. And the same with females. When they are, they're overloaded with estrogen, then, the, then they have the breast cancers and the uterine cancers and the cervical cancers. So those, the plastics that are in the, in the, uh, in the, the, the uh, bottled water, as well as the pesticides on the, the foods, mm -hmm. the pesticides have a, 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 an estrogenic effect on us as well. So we're getting hit with all these fake estrogens from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason to avoid soy. The phytoestrogens in soy, the genazidine and the diazidine, mm -hmm. are both phytoestrogens, and, they, and they've been linked with, with estrogen-type cancers. Plus, they're genetically modified now. 94% mm -hmm. last year, 2011 of the soybeans in the USA are GMO now, and I think it's 89% of corn. Mm 